Hey, is your fancy keyboard broken already? No, no, I'm just modifying it. You do what? I just got those holy panda switches for 100 bucks and I'm replacing them to make it sound better. So keyboard and switches, that is around 400 euros, right? That's crazy. You just do not understand. Wait, wait, wait. What? Are those noise cancelling headphones? Yeah, of course those are. So you do not even hear your fancy keyboard, right? No, but I just know that my keyboard sounds better. Moron. <laughs> Whatever. Keyboards are not only about sound, that is also about feeling what you have when you're typing on them. I have quite a few keyboards, so I know, at least I have experience. And by the way, <laughs> check this out, TikTok creators. No hands needed. So, all those are pre built keyboards and this is my only one which I built on, on my own. And yeah, disclaimer, this keyboard was sent to me for free, but this is not sponsored video or whatever. Basically, I just built this keyboard on live stream and I decided that could be nice to make a video from that. The keyboard is not cheap, but you are getting a lot for that money. The box full with smaller boxes. I decided to go with white case and orange side plates. That looks nice together. And everything that is needed for assembly is included in set. Even brushes, lubricants, everything. Instruction was included, but of course we didn't read it. PCB has gold plating, but I will happily exchange that to the LEDs. The mounting plate is from aluminum and there is foam included to put between mounting plate and PCB. Sorts out that we need those small orange plastic details. Their name is plate cushion and glue cushion. First time heard that name, but basically that is for stabilizing in case. Those also are in orange color, the same like all the accessories, so very nice touch. Everything was white, orange and black and yeah, loved that. And yeah, after installing those, I already had false feeling that assembling will be easy, right? I was wrong. Oh boy, I was wrong. The next step is switch and key installation and I'm going with TTC gold pink switches. I like those. They are linear, very quiet, very light switches, but there is the catch. For a bigger case, we need stabilizers, right? And Lofru keyboard is using so named satellite axis stabilizers. And this was my very first time when I installed them and I had no idea how to do that. Of course, before we need to loop them, uh, basically apply lubricant to them. There are two different loops included in the building set and two different brushes, but I had my own loop, so I used that one. I looped stabilizers just fine, and then I stuck for, I don't know, about an hour maybe for the installation. That is not a problem of keyboard, but that was lack of my skills. Basically, I spent a lot of time to install those, and finally I succeeded, and they are working. So, yeah. From here, it was easy, right? Switches are hot swappable, so there was no problem to install them. After that, I mounted plate back to the case and connected cable. Keyboard supports Bluetooth 5, have built-in battery. Also, you can connect that to the multiple devices and switch between them. There is a bit of hollow space behind the PCB, so perhaps tape mode will help this keyboard a bit as well. So, keycaps. Keycaps are dual sub PBT, 68 keys. I really like how black and yellow and white looks together in this keyboard. Very lovely. Okay, you tell me how it sounds. And here is the iQnix ZX75 and this one. So, am I switching from my current favorite iQnix ZX75 to this Lofri keyboard? Well, <laughs> that's kind of a tricky question. In this keyboard, I like that I have that F row, and this keyboard don't have F row, this keyboard don't have RGB lighting. Is it great keyboard? Yes, absolutely. Do I like it? Yes. Can I recommend it to you? Yes, if it is in your budget, because it is not cheap, but... It really looks like premium keyboard. What I don't like on this keyboard, those are fonts. All is fine, except that RNX looks kind of horribly bad for my taste. I don't know why. Okay, but all those kind of subjective details. Both keyboards are great and awesome. 
most likely I will, I, th I see myself using this keyboard for gaming. This will be my gaming keyboard and iQnix will be my uh, working programming keyboard. I'm using, I'm planning to start to use both machines together again, PC for streaming and gaming and Mac for just for programming. So, okay, let me know which is your favorite, iQnix or Lawfree, which, which one you like better.